Okay, this is the spinning circular parallax tutorial. This is taken from my post on the surreal uh, post that I, I did uh, lately. And using the uh, intro for the YouTube, I like the animation that they have. So the intro of the YouTube is from a template in Create Studio, and this is optional, so you don't have to have that. But I use that and then I make some changes to it so you can see this intro here. But here, the important part here is I'm teaching you is on how to create the spinning circular parallax. So let's have a look at this intro. Okay, if you are an all access pass holder, then you will be able to access and use this. But if you are not, don't worry. Uh, I'm going to do this uh, spinning circular parallax from scratch. So what you need is the original uh, download. Or this is my original footage of the station. And from the station here, I took a picture at the beginning part of the footage to make it a still picture. So you need just these two things to do this spinning circular thing. Okay. Um, Start from scratch, so we can take this picture and put it in here. Maximize it and make this into maybe a 10 seconds, right? Okay, now in this parallax, uh, second parallax, you need four pictures and three circles. I am going to do an enhanced version from what I already have here. So first thing first, we are going to create the circle. So go down the here and look for the circle. And you have one right in the middle here. So create the outer circle first, and then the middle circle, and the inner circle. So the inner circle is on top of the middle, and the middle on top of the outer. So we will create the outer circle first. So to do that, make this smaller. Click on this one, and hold the control key, and bring this outer circle out. Okay. Making sure that the outer circle here touches both the sides you see both sides here okay so this is one this is one outer circle here so it touches both sides okay so i will name this circle as outer see here okay well approximately yeah can do this one outer circle now we do a middle circle so we can click in and do another circle so this circle you can't see it. we're going to change a little bit of a color here so it's, so that we can see some contrast here and again i'm going to make this big smaller and this time i'll make this touching the top and the bottom but again remember to hold the control key so that you have perfect circle so put it up here let it touch there and let it touch here. So this is second circle, so touching the top and the bottom. So you got two circles now. This is the middle circle. Let's name this guy the middle circle. Okay. Middle circle, and now we are going to do the inner circle. So let's go inner circle. So we have another circle here. Let's give it a different color. So you can see the contrast here. So approximately on this thickness to this one, I probably make this a little smaller. Okay. Okay. So this is the inner circle. So your inner middle and the outer circles. So center it. Make sure you center, center, second circle. Uh, center and center and then the outer circle center and center so now you got three circles here and these three circles is going to rotate all right um, now we got to add now a frame to these circles not frame actually borders so each one go to advance color uh, sorry backwards so it's border here okay go to the border okay click on border change the color to black and then bring the opacity to somewhere in the middle like about 75 
usually I like 70, 75, yeah, okay. So go back here, the width, I put it as about 20, or whatever you like, yeah, okay. So that is the outer, so now we do the same for the middle circle. Oops, bring it all the way down here, and then now change it to about 75, back here, the border, uh, width is about 20. Same likewise to the in the middle circle. Back here, uh, black, and then bring down to about 75. Okay, so the width here, oops, okay, what happened? Middle circle, advance, so right, got 20. Oh, what happened to my inner circle? Ah, uh, let's click the back button. Yeah, you will come back. So if you have any mistakes, you just click the back button, okay? So check it out again on the inner circle. Advance. Okay, I haven't got 20. All right, so, so all three circles has their borders, okay? So now the next thing to do is to bring in the picture. So I already brought in the picture once. Now I need four. I need four of them. So this is the base. So I duplicate, duplicate, and duplicate. So now I have how many pictures here? This is the base. So that's the second one. I will probably call it a picture outer. And then the next one, let's call it picture middle. So when you label this, it's easier to work with later on. Okay, picture, uh, outer picture middle, picture inner. Okay, so now we are going to animate all these inner picture before we mask it to the circle. Start with the inner circle, which is the first one. Okay, this is the inner picture. It's going to mask with the inner circle. So the inner picture will be the first one to actually animate. So go to motion, go to loop, okay? And look for rotation. There's a rotation here. Ah, there you go. So you have the rotation and use clockwise or anti-clockwise, whichever one you want to use, but be consistent. So I'm going to use clockwise. So we're going to start with this one and one loop will be enough. It's too many loops, then it will not look too nice. Okay, so that's it. Um, inner picture. Okay, now we move on to the middle picture and do likewise. Click on the motion, click on the loop, and look for the clockwise. Same thing. Okay, so now you go after that. The next animation will be for the outer circle. Now, the outer circle, too. So Go to loop here and look for clockwise. Okay, so now you have got three. Now there's a little thing here that you need to do is uh, the outer picture. This is the last picture. You need to enlarge it, otherwise you'll see the line. So let's close it back here. So the picture must be bigger than the circle or in the circle. Okay, press hold control button and bring this guy up so that this top line touches the outer circle line. See here? Touch this line, this touch this line here. So that will cover it so that it will move smoothly afterwards. Then the last picture is the base picture. At the end there, you do not need to do anything. All right. So now what we're going to do next is we will now mask it respectively. So let's close all this. So there's more space here to see. Okay. We'll start here, outer, outer picture, okay, right-click, mask, with outer circle, okay. Middle picture, right-click, mask, with middle circle, okay. Inner picture, right-click, mask, with inner circle. You see here? So let's see the animation and see how it goes. 
inner circle spin, second circle spin, and then another circle spin. Voila. So we have this spinning circular parallax. So this is this is uh, this is nice when you have the intro of the spinning and followed by the uh, footage. So let's let's go and move this RT footage back inside here. So when this whole thing spin, it will follow up with this footage. This footage needs to be yeah, the map here. Okay, let's have a look and see how it goes. Spin. If you want it faster, then you can actually adjust the speed and make it faster. Yeah. Or shorten it. Yeah. So here you go. This is the spinning circular parallax. Um, one caution advice here is uh, whenever you do this type of spinning circular, uh, get pictures that are very uh, uh, sharp in the perspective in the middle. You'll get better results, right? So pick, pick up your your uh, uh, picture carefully. All right. Good luck.